Hey guys, today I'm making some curry prawn, some fried bami, fried plantain, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season these, and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do. So, let's go. So, first I'm gonna season this prawn, and what I'm gonna use is some fish seasoning. And this fish seasoning is not really salty, so you can use a good amount. It's not salty at all. Then I'm going to use some black pepper. Because you know you can't do anything um, in without your black pepper. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some <laughs> all purpose. And guys, I was supposed to say I'm doing some prawn, some curry prawn in coconut sauce. And I love it with bami. That's how I make it all the time. So that's what I'm doing today. Now I'm going to add some of the curry powder to this. As I didn't know me. I like to add some of the curry to the whatever I'm doing and some to the pot itself. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to add some curry powder to this. And also some to the pot. I'm just going to mix this around. And these are really not um, the big ones, but these are what they have here. So that's what I buy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just let this stay for a little while, then I'm gonna head over to the pots, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do from there. So here I have a pot, and all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some olive oil to this. There you go, some olive oil. Then some curry to this oil. I'm just gonna mix it around like that. Then I'm going to add the prawn. So here I'm gonna turn it around. Just like so. These are some small ones. These are not the large ones. So let's put them down. And I'm not gonna um, have this in the pot for a long time. What I'm gonna do? What you're going to see me do is pour these out. I'm gonna pour them back in the container. The reason why? I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm just going to show you what I'm doing now. But I'm going to pour it back into the container. But I'm just letting it saute in this curry for about five minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, like I said, I'm pouring this back into this container. Well, what you can do, you don't have to pour back yours in a container if, if you don't want. You can just cook up whatever, whatever you see I'm going to do. If you want to cook it up in another pot, you can do that. But I'm not going to use um, too many pots to do this one dish. So what I'm doing, I'm just pouring it back in this. Oh, 
Here I have some okra and some carrots. And I'm just adding them to these. Because this is our my curry prawn in coconut sauce. This is exactly how I cook it. So I like okra and carrots. So I'm just pouring a little water in this so they can steam a little. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to fix this around. And then I'm going to cover it. I have, so, I have some bell peppers and everything, but I'm not ready to put those in as yet because I don't want them to. I don't want to defeat the purpose of the bell peppers. You know what I mean? Oh, I like to see um, a certain of my um, vegetables when I'm finished cooking. So, look at this. This is nice. I'm just going to cover this and let it steam for a while. Then I'm going to show you what I'm doing next. So here I've added some onions and garlics. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this hot pepper. Because I love hot pepper. So I'm just going to let this um, cook a little. Then I'm going to add my prawn back to this right here. So here's my lovely Korean. Guys, you should really smell this. I'm telling you, you should smell this. This is nice. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the prawns back to this right now. I didn't want them to overcook. Because um, I know the okra and the carrots will take a little time to steam. So I didn't want them to overcook. So I removed them. But as you know, you can cook it your way. I didn't want them to overcook at all. Not at all. This is one lovely meal right here. Trust me, this brown in plain. I haven't had um, this in a good while. I haven't made it. But I'm making it today. I haven't made it in a while. But this is something I've done all the time with bummy. I love it with bummy. So, I'm doing that with the bummy for you today. Look at this. Are you seeing this? Let me show you. Let me bring it up close for you. Let me bring it up close for you. Look at that. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna add my coconut sauce to this. I'm just gonna add my coconut sauce to this, and trust me, you want to be in this kitchen right now, and you should really smell this. You want to eat some of this right now. You really want to taste some of this. Are you seeing this, guys? Look at this. Are you really seeing this right now? Are you seeing this? This is one excited meal right here. And this is what you want to be a part of. So remember to tell somebody about Miss Brown. Because I ain't joking over here, guys. I ain't joking. I ain't joking. Look at this, guys. Are you seeing this? This is so beautiful. I'm just going to turn this down and let it steam for a bit. I'm just going to turn this down. And the next time you'll see it is in the plate. Because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to introduce you to my bummy and how I make my bummy. How I do it, not make it, how I prepare my bummy. And that is going to be exciting, something you want to see. Before I close this to simmer, I'm just going to put my bell peppers on top because I don't want them to cook out, guys. I really don't want them to cook out. So I'm just going to put my bell peppers on top like this. Also, what I'm going to add to this is a piece of um, thyme. Look at that, guys. Are you seeing this? This is an exciting meal right here. And I'm putting these pieces of thyme in here. I'm going to sink the thyme. But I don't want my bell peppers to sink at all. I don't want them to sink. Are you seeing how thick this is and nice? Because this was done in okra. I'm 
Let me taste this and see how it is. Oh my god, this is perfect. Guys, this is so perfect. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tip a little more black pepper on this. Because like I said, anything that I'm cooking from the sea, I like it to have a lot of black pepper in it. So I'm just gonna let this stay for another 10 minutes guys and then, then it's off. Guys, here I have some bummies. I cut the bummy in four one bummy in four pieces. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna soak it in this. And here is some. This is some cow's milk as vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It's all spice. And this is what I'm gonna dip my bummy in. So do your bummy like this and trust me. You will never stop doing it. It's very nice. And I'm not gonna let these bummies stay in for a long time. Because they will you will find that the double it will start opening too. Because that's how they made the bummies. They put two um thin ones together. So I'm not gonna soak it for a long time because you will find this right here split open in two. And I don't want that. Unless it's a thin bummy. Then you can let it stay in there for a little while. But I'm, pers I'm I personally not gonna let them stay in there. Here yeah, I have a pot, and you can see that's well hot. Because when you're doing, when you're frying bami, you have to make sure that the oil is hot. Well, not necessarily this hot, but you have to make sure it's hot. Else you're gonna find that they stick to the pot and break, and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add my bami to this. Just like. That. And remember guys, bummies are already baked, so you don't, you don't really need um, a lot of time to prepare them, because they are already baked. Because this was cassava, for all you didn't know. As you know, bami is made from cassava. So you know it has to go through, go through a process to get it to this form. And as you can see, these spots, these are just the um, spices that I use. The cinnamon and the nutmeg, and I also use vanilla. So, here's my lovely curried shrimp in coconut sauce, curry prawn, whatever you know it as. It's the same thing. Look at this, guys. Tell me that you wouldn't love to eat some of this right now. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Check these bummies out. Tell me you wouldn't eat this lovely meal right now. Look at this, guys. Tell somebody about Miss Brown. You know I ain't joking over here. I ain't playing, guys. Just tell somebody about Miss Brown. You don't know what I'm coming with next. You know I'm coming with something, but you really don't know what I'm coming with. But I'm coming with something exciting. So, please do. Continue support. Continue spreading the word. Thank you.